Hi everyone, welcome to another video on my channel. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to customize the header section of your Shopify website using our themes. You can find the links to download our themes like Design Themes, Buddha Theme, and our Shriram in the description below. To start customizing, go to your Shopify dashboard and click on Customize. This will open the theme editor where you can change the look and feel of your website. You will see three sections at the top, the announcement bar, the top bar, and the header. I will show you how to edit each of these sections in this video. Let's begin with the announcement bar. If you click on the arrow next to it, you will see an option to add more announcements. You can add more than three announcements blocks here. To edit the text of each block, just click on it and type what you want. You can also add a link to each announcement block if you want. To change the color of the announcement bar, click on it and choose from the preset colors that we have provided. If you want to use a different color, you can do that in the backend editor. Next, let's move on to the top bar. Click on it to open the settings. Here you can enable or disable the margin of the top bar by checking or unchecking these boxes. You can also choose a color scheme for the top bar from the same presets as the announcement bar. You can change the email address, phone number, and text that appear on the top bar by typing in these fields. For example, I will change the email address to info at gmail.com. You can also add an icon next to the text by enabling this option. If you want to change the icon, you can do that in the backend editor. If you want to add buttons to the top bar, you need to create them first. To do that, enter the text and link for each button in these fields. The country selector lets you change the location of your website and the language selector lets you change the language of your website. However, you won't see the language selector in the preview because I haven't added another language to my website yet. If you want to learn how to add language translation to your website, check out my previous video on that topic. The link is in the description. Finally, let's move on to the header. Click on it to open the settings. The first two options are similar to the top bar options. You can enable or disable the margin and choose a color scheme for the header. To add or change your logo, click on logo and select an image from your media files or upload one from your computer. You can also adjust the logo size here, but make sure you use a high quality image so it doesn't get blurry when you resize it. To change the position of your logo, use this drop down menu and choose from different options. I will show you how each option looks in the preview. Similarly, you can change the position of your menu using this drop-down menu. To change your menu items, click on Change and select a different menu that you have created before. If you don't know how to create menus in Shopify, watch my other video on that topic. The link is in the description. If you want a secondary menu, enable this option and select a menu for it. However, this option only works when your logo is in the middle position. For the hamburger menu, you set the pixel value for the hamburger menu mobile mode or tab mode. This is what your hamburger menu looks like. You can change this value according to your preference. If you enable a sticky header, your header will stay fixed at the top when you scroll down your website. If your header has a background color, this option will make it transparent. Next, if you enable the search box, this option will add a search box to your header when your logo is in the middle position. Next, header icons let you enable or disable different icons that appear on your header such as cart, wishlist, account, etc. You can also change their type here. Finally, the category button lets you add a button that shows a list of categories under it when clicked. This is similar to the secondary menu but with a different style. You can change the heading text by typing in this field. You can also choose which menu you want to display under the heading by selecting it from this drop-down menu. However, this option only works when your logo is in the top left or top center position. Next, let's look at the tags. We have three types of tags, sales, new, and hot. You can use these tags to highlight different products or categories on your menu. To use a tag, enter the name of the tag in this field and then enter the menu items that you want to apply the tag to in this box. You can enter multiple menu items by separating them with commas. Each tag has a different color, sales is green, new is brown, and hot is red. That's it for this tutorial on how to customize the header and section of your Shopify website using our themes. I hope you found it helpful and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Shopify tips and tricks.
Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.